Warning. The words utopia and dystopia will be said frequently. They will lose their meaning. To start, truly utopian stories are fundamentally flawed. Because things are so perfect, imperfect things throw a wrench in the entire system, destroying the illusion of it. Are utopian dwellers able to practice non-utopian lifestyles or have non-utopian interests? Dystopias are much more realistic because, arguably, they've existed before, and some can argue they exist right now. Dystopias allow for the less than virtuous pursuits of some to exist, without it interfering with the gritty, gross, and squalor of the rest of society. However, it depends on the story, and who the perceived good guys are. If the utopian society is being written as the virtuous, sympathetic side, the dystopian part of things will be shown as the barbaric savages that cannot be reasoned with. If the dystopian side is showing that it has a few decent people in the mix of this degenerate world, then the utopian society, if there is one, is shown as pompous, cold, and uncaring about those who haven't taken a shower in years. Mad Max 2 and On are some of the only movies I've seen where everything is dystopic. There are no cut-and-dry good guys, just people who are less psychopathic than the antagonists. I'd argue the Fallout game series is also this way, as even the perceived good guys do their fair share of dark and dirty actions. Except for the railroad. It's a bunch of Redditors underground. Utopias must find non-utopian societies in order to have conflict. Example, the Federation in Star Trek. The Space Station Elysium from the movie of the same name. District 13 in The Hunger Games, arguably the Institute from Fallout 4. Dystopian societies themselves breed conflict. Examples, Half-Life 2, Equilibrium, Fallout, Dread, and many more. Utopias, there are no underdogs rising up against the government, because everyone is equal, or the good guys are the government, which is why it's pure fiction. Dystopias, there is almost always a rebel group trying to take out Big Brother. Everybody loves a good rebellion. Now, if you've noticed, there is far more dystopian stories than utopian. And even when you do get a utopia story, sometimes there's this underlying turmoil growing within the society. The reason for the abundance of dystopias is because they rely on the easy idea of seeing the worst in society. We often look for problems in the way our community or nation runs itself, then many times amplify the severity of it. Granted, this is the most realistic way to tell a false utopian story. Life imitates art, imitating life. 